Hi guys, it's David here from the Wargaming Parrot. Today we're going to be talking about substrate versus bars at the bottom of your cage. I'm going to be talking about the advantages and disadvantages of both and hoping to help you as a bird owner make an informed decision in which one you'd prefer. Now I'm going to be honest here, I am a convert to substrate so this will be a mostly pro substrate video but I'm going to try to be balanced and present an argument for both. This isn't about bashing people who use bars at the bottom of their cage. They all come with them, it's perfectly normal to have them. However, I want to present an argument to you as a bird owner why a substrate could be better for your bird. So while Pickles enjoys her banana on my shoulder, I'm going to get started with bars. Now bars at the bottom of a cage are very common. Almost all cages come with bars at the bottom of the cage and it's perfectly normal. So why would you as a bird owner think that anything would be better? They come with them. So the reason bars are placed at the bottom of cages is for one simple thing. It's human convenience. It's much easier for most bird owners to have bars at the bottom of the cage. It's also easier for manufacturers to put bars at the bottom of the cage as it makes the cage a little bit sturdier and it's easier for them to manufacture without having to go to any faff. One advantage bars have over substrate bedding is it's cheaper. You don't have to buy any substrate, it's cheaper to maintain. So this could be something you can consider as a bird owner. One advantage that bars have over substrate bedding is that they are initially easier to clean. Now it's important that you pay attention to the word initially because I have a better bad side to it as well later on. But initially when you have bars on the case, easy to clean, just put some paper or something underneath, um, take out a tray, get rid of it, simple as that. A further advantage to having bars bottom of your cage is it discourages nesting behaviour. So if you have bars, it makes it less likely that your bird's going to want to go at the bottom of the cage and it can be very important to discourage hormonal nesting behaviour. I found in previous cases that this isn't always the case. Sometimes the bird will still go on the, on the floor and nest anyway. However, it does serve as a discouraging factor, so that's something worth considering. Moving on to some of the disadvantages that bars have over substrate is I said in earlier that they're initially easy to clean. Now bars, I don't know if you guys have noticed, bars do tend to get dirty. The bird keeps on pooing and pooing and the bars just start to get crusty and dirtier over time. If you really go to the trouble of cleaning them thoroughly every single week, this may not happen. However, it's inevitable that they will start getting this build up. So initially one of those advantages starts to become a disadvantage. So you're starting to think, what is so good about that? One of the biggest disadvantages I feel of having bars bottom your cage is they are very bad for your bird's feet. If your bird still wants to go on the ground or you have feeding available on the floor of your cage, the birds will walk over them, it can cause harm to them over time, it can degrade their pads and do all sorts of nasty things to their feet. So it's very, it's, if your bird is going on the floor when there's bars, it's really, I'd strongly recommend considering moving to substrate. If they don't, it may not be as much of an issue. This is more of a personal perspective. I also feel that bars are ugly to look at the bottom of the cage. I don't think they look very attractive. It makes it look more like a cage than a home for your bird. It's also, depending on what you have underneath, if you have newspaper, that looks unattractive. If you have plain white paper, that might be nice. But from a cosmetic perspective, they just aren't that attractive. One of the biggest disadvantages I feel with having bars bottom of your cage over substrate is it denies your bird a whole dimension of enrichment in your cage. If you have substrate at the bottom, it allows them to explore that area. If you have bars, they may still explore it, but as I talked about earlier with the whole feet thing, it makes it a much more unpleasant experience for your bird. As a final point with regards to bars, some people argue that if your bird is at the bottom of the cage, it means they're unwell. However, if they're sitting still at the bottom of the cage and not really doing anything, that's fine, that may be true. And if your bird's actively foraging down there, enjoying it, kicking it up bedding, doing all sorts of things, or skittering around, that's perfectly natural behaviour. There's nothing to indicate they're unwell, it just means they're enjoying another part of their cage. Moving on to substrate, I'm going to break this section into three separate subsections. First is going to be the advantages of using substrate, second the actual disadvantages of substrate, because there are some, and then the commonly held misconceptions about substrate. These last ones are things that people, that people think are bad about substrate, but can be easily disproven. My favourite thing about having substrate, being a convert to it, because I used to be bars all the way, is the amount of enrichment it provides. Just seeing how chicken fish and pickles interact at the bottom of their cage with their floor toys and with the substrate itself and foraging, it's just it's just amazing to see the sort of behaviour and how much they enjoy it. Not only do they get joy from being at the top of their cage, skittering around, having fun, they can have that joy at the bottom of their cage and skitter around and have fun there too, and I can watch that and it's just really really 
rewarding for me as a bird owner. And after I made that swap, because Sophie encouraged me to make the swap, because I used to think that bars were better, I just would never go back. Here's just a quick clip of Chip foraging around on the floor, just pecking at his substrate. It's a few bits of food from today. They'll be picked up later, later on. We put some natural grasses down there as well, so you can have a little nibble at those. It's also worth mentioning at this point, some birds may not be as keen going on the floor to play. Cockatiels are ground, ground feeders, so encouraging natural foraging behaviour. Pickles may not be to an extent, but she just loves doing it anyway because she loves biting and chewing things. Please bear that in mind, as all, I always say in all my videos, birds are individuals. As I mentioned when I was talking about bars, bars are bad for your bird's feet. So conversely, substrate is better for your bird's feet. They don't have that same problem when they're walking around on it. It's not terrible for them, it doesn't cause any injury or damage to them. And that's one of the, another big advantage of having substrate at the bottom of your cage. Substrate also encourages natural foraging behaviour. So as with chip and fish cockatiels, they are ground feeders. So it encourages them to forage on the ground. So they go down there, they kick up their bedding and they look for a bit of snacks and toys to play with. They bite things and explore things. And it's very rewarding to see them exhibiting that natural behaviour. Substrate is also slightly closer to a natural environment. Now, they are in a home in a cage, so obviously you're not going to be able to put leaf litter down there or anything like that. But it's a lot closer to being na natural for them and what they will experience in the wild than having bars, newspaper or whatever else down there. So it's just a little bit, I don't know how to say, it's just a little bit closer to what it'll be like in the wild, giving them a little bit more of a taste of being a natural bird. So with regards to cleaning, substrate is actually very easy to clean out. You can just sweep, if you've got a tray that pulls out, you can just pull it out, empty it into your bin or a bucket, um, give it a quick clean at the bottom to make sure there's nothing down there, as you would with bars, and then put fresh substrate in, put it back in. It's also very easy to clean, spot clean. All you have to do is just put your hand in and grab it, as you've seen in previous videos, it's very easy to do, and it's just not that much of a hassle, as, it's not as much of a hassle as people make it out to be. So mucking out substrate, we just use a dustpan and brush, we go into the cage and we sweep it all up, doesn't take very long, it literally just a couple of scoops and then making sure that everything is all gone and there's nothing left over. If you are if you have a cage that where you can put out a tray, you can simply just put out a tray, empty it into a bucket, get rid of it. It's as simple as that. So I'm just going to crack on with it now. Something so be naughty does, I'm doing so you guys can see what it's like. So I sped that up just so you wouldn't have to watch me go for it all. It took about three or four minutes. Now as you can see, the bottom of the cage is clean. We're gonna, we're quite paranoid bird owners, so we're gonna F10 it as well. You don't have to, but it's always advisable you do just to make sure there's nothing down there. But as you can see, there's not really any dust at the bottom of there. We haven't done anything special apart from using a dustpan and brush. I think it would be no worse or better than, if, than bars. Just as a further small advantage, I don't know if you can see that shelf just below the base of the cage there, that's actually not supposed to be there. That was originally where the bars were supposed to be, but we converted it into an extra shelf just to store little bits and pieces on. This isn't an advantage all cages will have, but Liberta Oregon does have this, so if you've got one and you feel that you want to try substrate, you can just keep the bars and just pop them down to a little shelf. So I've spoken a bit about the good sides of having substrate, now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the bad sides of it. One of the biggest bad sides of having substrate in my mind is it's more expensive. If you have bars at the bottom of your cage, you're just dumping newspaper or any old paper as bedding down there to clean out and muck out. With substrate, you're actually paying for something. And also, if you're trying to get the right substrate, that's going to cost you more money, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Just as, as an example of how much substrate can cost, easy bed which we use is six to eight pounds per 20 kilograms. This lasts quite a lot of while, but it's still a bit of an extra cost. Another actual disadvantage to having substrate is it is messier. They are gonna, if they are going to play with it, they are going to kick it out of your cage, especially if it hasn't got a lot of high lip, and it's going to be thrown over the floor. So you're going to have to take a bit more effort cleaning up your floor. If you've got a hard floor, it's not really an issue. Sweep it up. If you've got carpet, you're going to have to hoover a little bit more often. Something worth considering. So as you can see at the bottom of the cage, you can see there's a little bit of substrate being kicked out. I take this as a good sign because it means the birds are enjoying themselves and playing with it. Obviously, it does mean it's a little bit messier, so that could be something that you need to consider before using it. 
Another disadvantage to using substrate is you can't just use any old substrate. You have to be careful with what you pick. Now we use Easy Bed, which is great. You can also use Easy Chick, which is part of the Easy Bed brand. You can also use Carefresh. It's very important that any substrate you use is dust extracted and is bird safe. You can, if you want a cheaper alternative, use shredded white printer paper. Don't use newspaper or anything else because it's going to be dangerous. You can also use untreated pine shavings as an alternative. Now you can't use cedar, redwood or any kind of treated pine. These are very bad and you should avoid them. You also can't use anything that's not dust extracted. You also can't use shredded newspaper as I said and you can't use anything random. People have said any stuff like sand and um, kitty litter, that's a no-no. Avoid that when you're using substrate. Some people say you can use puppy pads but these contain ammonia which encourages a dog to wee wee on them. That is something that isn't very good for birds, so it should be avoided as well. Just as a mention of disadvantages, some people say that having bedding at the bottom of your cage can encourage hormonal behaviour. While this isn't necessarily proven to be the case, it is worth mentioning if your cockatiel or other bird does exhibit hormonal behaviour, such as sort of like uh, nesting in the corners, you can pop foraging toys there to discourage it or just take the usual steps you would to discourage any hormonal behaviour. My partner Sophie actually has a video on this, which I'll leave a card for now. Moving on, I'm going to start talking about the commonly held misconceptions about substrate. These are disadvantages that people think that substrate has, but are quite easily disproven. The first one I'd like to cover is mould. People think that if you have substrate, it's going to attract mould. If you leave your substrate bedding in all like a couple of weeks and don't do anything with it, that's a possibility, especially if you live in a humid environment. We have personally never ever had any trouble with mould of our substrate. And this is partly because we take a few simple precautions because we want to take care of our birds. We make sure there's a little clear area around the water bowls so it doesn't get wet easily. If it does get wet, we just simply remove it. We also don't leave any food sitting at the bottom of the cage or poo. We simply just pick it up every morning and get rid of it. And sometimes in the evening as well to make sure. Due to this, we have never had any mould build up at the bottom of our cage and we are very cautious to make sure that, that never occurs. Another issue that people talk about a lot is the birds walking and eating their poo at the bottom of their cage. Now, again, this is easily avoided with substrate bedding, is if every morning you simply open up the cage and just take it out by hand, poo pick it. It's the same problem you'd have if you had bars at the bottom of your cage. If your bird is exploring the bottom of the cage, they're still going to walk over it on the bars, they're still going to peck at it. So it's not really a disadvantage of substrate over bars, it's exactly the same. And it's, in fact, it's actually easier to deal with if you have substrate. One of the concerns people have about substrate bedding is a build up of poo at the bottom of the cage. Just like with bars or with paper, you will get poo and you will have to clean it out regularly. With substrate, cleaning out poo is not exactly very difficult. I don't know if you can see it there, there's a bit of poo there. All you have to do is literally grab it, pull it out, shove it in the bin. It's as simple as that. You can do this as part of um, your regular routine in the mornings, as is recommended, because it keeps the substrate nice and fresh. You can also remove any excess food or any other stuff that's fallen down. But um, it's important, as with paper bedding and with bath bottom of the cage, to muck out your substrate at least once a week. This is the same point for old food sitting at the bottom of your cage. If you simply take the time, we're talking about a minute of your day, to take the food out on the old food sitting there, it makes it less of an issue and it doesn't really make any difference. Leading on from those points, some people seem to think that having substrate at the bottom of the cage is unsightly. If you leave all this stuff at the bottom, then it may become so, but personally I think it actually looks prettier, it looks more natural and it looks better for the cage. Another commonly held belief is substrate is hard to clean. It is slightly hard to clean in that, it might take you an extra couple of minutes, but it really isn't that more, much more difficult, especially if you, your cage has a tray. Just pull it out, pop it in the bin, give it a quick wipe and replace it. It's almost as easy as having bars and using paper. Another argument I've seen used a couple of times is it's dustier in that when the birds molt or they fluff and um, do their natural behaviours, the dust settles on the substrate and sinks to the bottom. I find this one a little bit confusing because if you have paper and bars on the cage, that dust goes straight to the bottom. If the bird flaps around their cage or goes to the bottom, that dust is just going to go, be flown straight back into the air. With the substrate, that doesn't happen, especially if it does sink to the bottom, which it doesn't, as I'll show you in a clip in a moment. So we spoke, spoke a little bit about one of the concerns people have with substrate of it being dustier. So let me just pull aside some substrate here. I don't actually see a vast amount of dust there. There's a 
Oh, that's actually just um, some scratching on the plastic, but there's absolutely no dust there. So this concern seems to be a bit of a misnomer. This doesn't really happen. And even if it was the case, it would be exactly the same if you had bars at the bottom of your cage and paper. The dust would settle, and in, in many cases, it'd actually be worse because that dust is just sitting on top, and if they flapped around, it would go flying around. This brings me to the end of the video. I hope I've given you some food for thought with regards to using substrate at the bottom of your cage. Again, I'd like to make it clear that I'm not calling anyone a bad bird owner, bird owner for having bars. I just think that substrate is better. It's all down to your personal preference, but I hope that watching this video may have given you some ideas, or may have even started to make you think that substrate could be a possible alternative to using bars at the bottom of your cages. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. In the meantime, take care and have a great day.